Hey guys, it's Di from Be Mommy with Style, and today I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a home decor, home tour, and kind of show you a before. So here's the reason it's before. So we moved into this house about a year ago, and I got the basic things. I mean, we're living in it, and it's comfortable, and it's comfortably decorated, and all the sorts of things. But for the past year, I was working full-time outside the home, and if you've worked full-time outside the home, you know how much just time it takes and like brain space it takes and I didn't really ever feel like I had the capability to really fully focus on decorating and kind of getting everything exactly how I wanted it. So now I'm transitioning right now to working at home. So you guys have probably noticed because I have a little bit more time to do videos and I wanted to do a quick walking tour as like a before of our house to share you know, what I've done and what I did while I was working and kind of talk about some things I'd like to change and talk about some upcoming projects. So hopefully you guys think this is fun. I do really love, enjoy just dabbling in home decor, like trying out different things, just to make the house more comfortable for us. But I also just really enjoy trying out, putting together different things and just seeing how I like it and changing up the feel of the room. So um, I'm gonna take you through and kind of share some of the projects that I wanna do and share some of my ideas. And um, I'm gonna be sharing it kind of room by room as I go through and do different things. So those videos will be coming up this summer. So when you first walk in, I have this welcome area set up how I pretty much have had it set up at a number of different houses. So I had this blue table when we lived in Michigan and I think actually even Illinois I first got it. So I've had that set up like that for a number of years. The thing that I need to change over here is I have the last few remaining pictures that either need to find a home for or donate. They've come from different places, so I just need to basically get the pictures up on the wall in my office and figure out what I'm gonna use, not gonna use, and then just get rid of everything else. Um, and then the dining room is obviously functional, um, but one thing that I did always used to do is I always used to do a table runner and a tablescape, and that completely went out the window when I started working full time. I just did not have time to do it. So I'd like to start doing that again. I really love decorating the table, and we do eat dinner in here every single night. So I think it just helps add a little bit of ambiance, and also it's a seasonal thing that I can do. I can match the seasons. So I mean, other than that, the dining room's pretty set. Um, you know, it is what it is. I'm not gonna change out the furniture or anything. I bought that when we lived in Illinois, and I still really like that set. So it's pretty good to go. Um, I've got my diffuser over here, but I may actually move that either into our bedroom or the office because I don't really use it a ton there. So here in the main living area, we are talking about getting different couches, but that's something that I'll do later on for the like little things that I'm planning on changing this summer. We did just put up all the curtains and everything, which helped lighten it up. But the big thing is, is I started looking for different end tables because Everything in here is kind of really square, and I actually found some end tables that kind of mimic this style. They're like rectangles that go at the end, and they have like a little drawer in there because that's the one thing is, we really try to get things that are functional and also look nice. So we really like things where we can stick things inside, and this is just a tabletop. So I did find these that have like a little drawer in there where we could stick the remotes, stick extra things inside, and then they're just not sitting up. And then over here we have Penguin's couch, which he likes to arrange the blanket and the pillows however he wants those. Um, so that's his main domain during the area. But obviously, typically, I'd have the, the blanket on the back of the couch. Isn't he hilarious? He loves pillows. He just loves hanging out on pillows. Um, I'm, I'm okay with how the top is here, but to be honest, like I just when we moved in, I just kind of threw things on the sides and just kind of really haven't thought about it. So I'd like to make this a little bit more mindful. Obviously, there's a lot of electronics and all the stuff over here, which I kind of try to like half a you know obscure but it's not really working so i'd really like to be mindful and take some time and redecorate this area um the other area that i haven't really done a lot except for around christmas is the mantle area i did find this big picture which i really love i love like that birch picture scene which that one over there is that as well but if i find something that i like a little bit better or you know if i find just some things to kind of tie in all of this with that um 
you know, I'd like to kind of think about that this summer. The one thing I do really like is when we moved in here, I had to find this TV stand because the the thing I was using as a TV stand over here, it um, it was too long. It was like just about inch and a half too long. And I love how this worked out. So I really love this room. It's got the dog stuff over there, but I'm fine with that because his little door that opens and closes is over there. Um, I got this table and this chair set when we moved in here and this was already painted this blue color and I just I love how this all came together. I put this enjoy every moment picture over here. Um, my little stand over there on the side. This used to be our TV stand but now I use it as like a little radon display area and buffet and it's got all the kids um, art supplies and stuff that they use. Um, here at this table in there so this this works perfectly and so I'm not going to change probably a lot about this room other than maybe just a few additional decor items or changing around some decor putting out seasonal decor because I really like how this room came together um, and probably the main thing about this room is just decorating those two things on the sides changing out these tables and then probably in the fall I think we're talking about we've got to decide what we're going to do we're either going to move these upstairs into the playroom and start making it more of like a game room or we may just get we haven't decided what we're going to do yet um so there's that Obviously Penguin really likes the couches. So you can tell it's just like little projects here and there. Um, and then it's other things like outside. We just kind of threw our patio furniture out there. But I really haven't decorated it per se. So I'd like to just kind of, you know, spruce it up. I mean it's very livable. But I just feel like I really haven't had a chance to quote unquote decorate. For the kitchen, I don't know that there's a lot that I would do. Obviously the kitchen is super functional. I've got my meal planning board over there. Um, and then once my office is fully spooled up, things like mail can go straight into my office. Um, we do have like a little dumping ground over there. What that ends up being is anything that needs to go up to Isabella's room ends up getting set there before we take it upstairs. So if I find a different system for that, that would be great. I keep these on the counter and these are just little kids things. Um, so these could go up to the playroom just to kind of clear this off. But otherwise, other, you know, the only thing I do a lot if I'm at home more is I tend to have fresh flowers. Um, Dan got those for me, but I tend to get them for myself if I'm at home more. So that's the only thing I'd probably really do more of or differently in the kitchen. So those are kind of the things that I know I want to work on. And then other than that, it's just trying to make everything a little bit more cohesive because we kind of just moved in, got a dog. <laughs> And just, you know, started living, which is nothing wrong with that. It's just a matter of I feel like I didn't really ever get a chance to decorate, per se, and really spend some time thinking about it. Penguin, you're still in the show here, buddy. You're so cute. Um, the kids' rooms are going to be a separate thing. I'm not even going to show them in this video, but Isabella's room, um, you know, needs some, <laughs> it needs some help. But she's not getting new furniture anytime soon because she's the one that actually writes on her furniture. So she's not getting anything until she outgrows that. And then Natalie, you know, her room, um, I would like to get some new furniture for her at some point. And she actually takes care of her stuff, so... Um, that's that but I'll do those in a separate video but then the last thing and I'm actually going to be starting to work on this this week so I got all this new furniture for my office I really just need to finish off putting stuff on the walls and you know just kind of finishing off getting everything put somewhere basically um, so you know up here there's just things kind of randomly put up there I just need to arrange this a little bit better figure out a picture that I want for up there. I want like a really big, I'm kind of envisioning a big like hydrangea picture with like purples or pinks is kind of what I have in mind for over there. And then I'm really leaning towards getting that storage system for over that. And then this room would be pretty good to go. Um, I've already got that rug underneath there. I kind of just need to figure out stuff because I've got cords kind of going everywhere to plug in the computers and then I've got the lights and tripods and stuff like that since I do film in here. So if I find some sort of better storage system for that, that'd be great. But I do, after I have that up on the wall, I do have this kind of like little pocket area behind, which I guess you can see right when you come in, but that's okay. I do have this little pocket area that I could stick stuff in. Um, next to this printer stand. So anyhow, it's a work in progress um, and I just wanted to give like a for real, you know, for real, for real sense of what the before is. So I'm looking forward to having a little bit more 
time to kind of do some things. And I think number one, the very first thing that you definitely will start to notice in the vlogs is I will start doing the tablescapes like pretty much now. Like I'm going to figure out like a like early summer one to start with and you probably will see that pretty immediately. And then um, the end tables, I think I found what I want there so you'll probably see that fairly soon. And then hopefully the office organization. So that's just a little kind of mini tour. This is the before, like I said, so we'll see what the after, maybe at the end of the summer and the fall ends up being like. And um, let me know what you're working on around your house this summer. Do you have any projects that you're working on? Let me know what's on your to-do list for freshening up the core wise or kind of changing around. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.